Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over our example of an optimization problem. If you haven't attempted the problem on your own, I suggest you stop the video now and you go ahead and try to do this problem. The first thing that we need to do is take the first order condition. What this means is that we are going to take the first derivative of our function and set that equal to zero. Our first derivative is df dx equals to take this derivative, we will take the derivative of each of the three parts of our function and then simply add them up. To start out, the derivative of x squared over 4, we take the 2 down, we subtract 1 from the exponent, so 2 minus 1 is 0. That's divided by 4. For the next one, x to the 1, subtract 1 from that, we get 0, so that x just drops out and we're just left with the 10. And 400 is just a constant, so the derivative of that is going to be 0. We set this equal to 0. This is our first order condition. Next, we will use this result to solve for our extreme point for x. First note that 2x over 4 is just x over 2 minus 10 equals 0. I'm going to add 10 to both sides to get x over 2 equals 10, and then multiply both sides by 2 to get x equals 20. The next thing we're going to do is figure out if this point that we found is a minimum or a maximum. And for that, we're going to need to take the second derivative. Remember that our first derivative is just this part right here, which is the same as this. So I'll take the derivative of that. My second derivative then, d2f dx2 equals the derivative of x over 2. Again, it's just x to the first power, so we get x to the 0, which is just 1. We're left with just 1 half there. The 2 on the bottom comes along. And the derivative of negative 10, since it's just a constant, is just 0. So our second derivative is 1 half. We note that this is greater than 0, which means that we have a minimum. If this had been less than zero, then we would have had a maximum. Finally, we will determine the value of our function at our, now that we know, a minimum point. For this, we will just plug 20 into the original function. So we get 20 squared over 4 minus 10 times 20 plus 400. 20 squared is 400 minus 10 times 20, which is 200, plus 400. 400 over 4 is just 100. So adding up those three numbers, we get 300. And that's all there is to it. We have taken the first order condition of our function, found our extreme point of 20, and then determined that it was a minimum as opposed to a maximum. And then we found the value of the function at that point. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.